Hi there, Saki here from Saki Tech. So, you purchase a new iPhone and you want to transfer everything, including your photos, videos, text messages, contacts, mail accounts, and everything else from your Android smartphone to your iPhone. Now, good news is that it is a very easy process, and I'll give you step by step instructions to accomplish the task. So, firstly, let's make sure you meet all the requirements. All you need is an iPhone 5 or later and also iOS 9 or later running on your iPhone. So let's dive in. Also, we're assuming you're turning on your iPhone for the first time, so you should be at the initial setup screen as you can see in this video. If you wanna go back to the initial setup screen, go into settings, go into general, scroll all the way down on your iPhone, tap on reset, and you're gonna to have to erase all content and settings of the iPhone, which is gonna take you back to the initial setup screen as if you were going to set up your iPhone for the very first time. But beware, because this is going to delete everything on your iPhone. Okay, so back on the Android phone, if you go into the phone, you'll see that I have four contacts in there, actually three contacts, and we're gonna transfer these over. And if you go into the gallery, we have four pictures. We're also gonna transfer these over to the iPhone. And finally, if you go back to the message application, we have three messages, test messages. We're also going to transfer over to the iPhone. So obviously, we're only using little numbers here, but if you have hundreds of thousands of messages, uh, hundreds of pictures, you can scale this method, no problem. So let's dive into the procedure. All right, so step number one, we're just going to breeze through the setup process. So let's pick English and United States as our region. And we do have to connect to a Wi-Fi network, so I'm going to pick the one that's in my house. Pop in the password, join the network, and that's going to click, going to take us to the next screen. There we go. And then let's just skip through all these things. Enable location services, set up touch ID later, click continue. We're not going to set up a passcode either. We're just going to skip these things real quick. I do want to take you to the main screen from where we have to pick the option to move the data from Android. So this is the main screen. The fourth option says move data from Android, and that is in fact the screen that we do need. So tap on that option, and then we're going to click continue here, and it's going to give us a code, a code that we're going to use on the Android. So let's switch over to the Android phone. The first thing you want to do is go to the Play Store and search for Move to iOS app. So download and install that application, and then we will launch it. All righty, so let's uh, go out there, swipe over, launch the iOS application, click Continue, and then Agree to the Terms, and then click Next on the top, and then type in the code that you see on the iOS device. And of course, that is going to make the connection possible. As you can see, both of the phones are saying, the iPhone is saying Move from Android, and the Android saying move to iOS. So it's in the preparation phase right now, and in a second we'll be able to pick the options that we need. So there we go. So we're gonna skip the Google account, but we will uh, transfer over messages, contacts, and camera roll. And then click next on the top, and that's gonna say moving to iOS. So the transfer is currently in progress. By the way, the camera roll means all the photos and videos on the Android phone. So all that is being transferred over right now. All right, so on the Android, we are done. It says transfer complete. So let's click done and get out of here. So we're actually done with the Android phone. So now all we have to do is finish the setup process on the iPhone. And there you have it. The transfer is in fact complete. And then let's click continue setting up the iPhone. We're going to skip all this stuff. Don't have an Apple ID. Set up later. Don't use. And you can, if you want, actually set these things up. I'm just trying to save some time. So let's don't send. Standard view. Next. And we're good to go. So let's uh, verify that everything, in fact, has transferred over. So here's my phone. Let's go to contacts. And let's go to the contacts on the Android phone. As you can see, they match exactly. So let's get out and check the um, messages. Cancel that. So exactly the exact messages have been switched and copied over. And finally, let's take a look at the photos. So let's launch the gallery and the photos app. And as you can see, all the photos are there. So boom, transfer complete. And that's all there is to it. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them below. Do subscribe to the channel. And also give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll see you in the next time.